Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to talk about door strikes. The reason for that is uh, in the next series I'm going to be talking about uh, the EVO 192 and the ACM 12, the uh, Paradox uh, single door controller. This is the RCI L65. It's a great product. Um, so <clears throat> you see here in a normal state that uh, that thing is called the keeper so it's usually it's locked and then once you apply power to the strike the solenoid gets uh, energized and then it activates it pulls some mechanism that will allow this uh, keeper to to move and thus uh, open the door so the the door latch usually goes like this and then you try to pull the door and it doesn't so uh, just to show you how it, it goes when it, when the door is open, I'm going to do this, and then you pull the door, and then the door comes out. So you see this here is no longer preventing the door from being um, from from moving. Uh, that there's different types of uh, strikes depending on the um, on the use. Uh, there's different designs and and different models from different manufacturers but this is the one this is the one that we uh, use most of the time uh, but the reason for this video is just to uh, explain some concepts uh, so here you see there is this um, screw here it it says fl and ful so fl is uh, fail locked which means in the normal state the strike is locked and you can't to to move this to open it you have to uh, apply power in the other setting it works the other way around so when i move it like this it's a bit heavy so when i move it like this it's unlocked if i put power it gets locked okay so this is the normal state this is uh, you want the door to not open unless you, uh, you apply power to it uh, this for a, for a for a strike, you always have to use a separate power source so that you don't overload the panel. You, you cannot, you should not share uh, the power supply of the panel to power the strike. It's going to be too much for the. Um, <clears throat> it comes with two two of these things. This is actually one that I printed. I 3D printed because I don't have the original one. This is a, a used strike, so I don't have the original one, but it comes with two. One is 24 volt um, uh, AC, and the other one is 24, a uh, 12 volt uh, DC. So you see here, uh, there's a drawing that shows you how, how, the, uh, how this thing is wired in case you lose it. So here, you know, in the case of 24 volt DC, it connects the yellow and blue wire uh, together, and then you apply the power to the red and black. Uh, in my case here, it's uh, you connect the red and blue together and the black and yellow together, and then you apply the power to red and black. So here I have made this, and then you see if you see here, I'm joining the uh, the black and yellow, and from the other side, I'm joining the red and blue, just like uh, the uh, instructions say here. Okay, <clears throat> so now I'm going to plug in my power source. Okay, so here is the strike. I put my I plug this in and then see now it's open. I have something loose here so it's yeah, this came loose. Okay, so now it's open. If I remove the power, it's locked. Plug it back in again. It's unlocked. So now let's see the other one. So if I switch it over to fail unlock okay like this way so now it's unlocked when i connect my power 
Okay, so when I connect the power, okay, when the power is connected, it's locked. Take out the power, it's unlocked. So it works opposite to the the way you, you would normally use it. Okay, now to the important part. So when I when we um, wire this to an access control system, regardless of what it is, uh, what we do is the uh, negative from the strike, it's going to be connected directly to the power supply. The positive, we're going to cut here, and then one side goes to the common, like the, re the every access control board has a, um, uh, has a relay on board. So that relay acts as a switch. When we cut this, one side goes to the common and one th the other side goes to the uh, normally open. So once you swipe, um, uh, the, uh, your credential, your, uh, your fob is checked uh, uh, against the, um, the permissions on the, on the system. If uh, if your fob is allowed access, then it will uh, activate the relay on the access control, and then that relay will join uh, those those wires that we cut together, and then completes the circuit, and then this gets unlocked. So that's the impor important thing to keep in mind: is that we have we have we we use this the we usually use the uh, positive to to do this. And uh, personally, I use the I put the one the side coming from the power to common and the other side to normally open. It doesn't really matter which is which, but this is my convention. Now, uh, when you connect the uh, the diode to protect the other equipment to to protect the ACM12 from uh, getting damaged, uh, you put this like this. So the stripe, the cathode, uh, goes to red and the other side goes to black. And you connect this as close as possible to the strike, not on the, uh, not on the panel side. You, you put it as close as possible here. Um, 